Hey, Safari, it's Mina. Thank you for highlighting me for Women's History Month. I have your questions right here, and I'm going to answer all of them. The first one being, when entering a new market, what approach do you take to engage local listeners? I would say just really be in the community, get to learn the people in that community and what's important to them. Um, I would find someone that's respected in the community already and get that person to show me around, tell me about you know, the people and the all the popping places to go to and just, you know, just slowly earn the trust of that community. Um, what advice would I give to someone pursuing a career in radio or media, especially to women? I would say know your craft, um, know it inside out. I would say have a great demeanor, a great personality, be respectful to people. Um, I would also say work hard, you know, work hard, uh, be persistent, and uh, really network with people and build great relationships, which brings us to the next question. In my opinion, which aspects play a greater role in one's success in radio, your work ethic, or the relationships that you build? I would say both. I'm not going to pick one. Um, you know, you have to work hard for this. A lot of people want these positions, and uh, there's less and less positions every year. So I would say uh, you definitely have to work hard, but you also have to build great relationships. You know, um, there's a lot of people with nasty attitudes, and I've seen that those people don't last. You know, arrogant, uh, egotistical people, uh, people who feel entitled, those things just don't last, you know? You have to have a good demeanor. You have to be polite to people. You have to build relationships. You know, a lot of the times my work ethic has gotten me in the door in certain places, but then in other places, my relationships have got me into that door because they know once I get there, I'm going to work my ass off and, you know, um, really apply myself. So both of those things are super important. I don't think one is more important than the other. Uh, what would you consider to be the hardest part of juggling your personal life while working in radio? I would say when to like open up about my job. I don't really like talking about my job. Um, I don't know when to bring people into my world. Um, it's kind of like a test. So for me, it's just really feeling comfortable enough to let someone into my job world, which is a completely separate world. And, you know, just juggling that and understanding if this person can even fit into my world. I mean, I don't want to be dating the guy that is handing out his mixtapes <laughs> when we're like going outside and we're out together, you know. And uh, how has working at Radio 1 Philadelphia helped you hone your craft as on-air personality? I would say it's kind of just um, allowed me to just work on my craft uh, being on air is like being uh, a basketball player. You know, uh, you, if you're good, you have the skills, you just practice so you don't get rusty. That's kind of what I've been doing here at Radio One, just continuing to, you know, uh, execute every day and just um, making my show the best show that I can make it so that I don't get rusty. So thank you for highlighting me and I hope that I helped you in some way. Okay, thanks.